Are you ready for one of the coolest little cars that I've ever seen? Here it is. We will even do a little unboxing for you since it's kind of a really nice package. So little click lock, boom, rope, little rope a dope, and then open it and then boom. Not only is it a box, it's a carrying case for this very scale, very sensitive vehicle the Rock Hobby Willys Jeep 1941 in 12 scale. What do you guys think? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some running video right now. We really put it through its paces, you know, rolled it over a couple times and really kinda, kinda explored the limits for you guys so you could see it. But check out the running video and hope you like it. And then if you wanna know about all the details, uh, please hang on to, to the middle part and I'll tell you price, uh, specs, how to adjust it and whatnot. And at the bottom line, is it worth it or not? All right. How about a little running video? We are going to go to our waterfall park. Get right down to business. Our little hard climb here. It's got a good balance, but it is getting hung up. Doesn't have sliders, has a low body. So we're gonna try another line. Right there, I'm supposed to go right, but it doesn't quite have enough steering to fall to the right. It keeps falling to the left. So I'm gonna try a sharper angle Right there, hug the right rock. Problem is I suspect it's gonna get hung up. And sure enough, it does on the rear right side. Tried for a couple minutes and just gave it the hand of God. Get it on its merry way. Pretty good so far. And right here, just for kicks, I'm gonna try to get past this wall somehow. Obviously, pretty steep. The rear bumper gets hung up, can't do much. And right there, I'm exploring the limits and it did flip over. Here, I'm gonna try to descend as well without getting hung up. Right there, boom, boom. Not a lot of articulation, but as you can see, the body likes to sit. And it did that very well, pretty just. And now I'm gonna try another line here. Try to climb this wall. It's a steep one. But you can't make it if you don't try, right? And right there, it has a chance. This is all being done on first gear. Tires have decent grip. This is a pretty grippy cement surface right here and the tire is up in the air but it's kind of settled so it's got a chance and then boom sure enough it three wheels it to the top so cool starting to get impressed with this vehicle definitely it sits down on steep stuff which is good steering angle is not great but that keeps it fun now we're going to try a little bit of side hilling here. What's really fun here is the modulation. When modulation is this controlled and torquey, it's really nice to crawl. Especially when it's three wheels up in the air. Or three wheels on the ground, one in the air. You need to be deliberate about slow movements. It's hung up there. It's pretty low clearances on this vehicle. And right there is actually a difficult side hill. Right there. It does okay.
Not bad, not bad at all. Pretty stoked. And here we're going to tackle a steep descent. It has good drag brake. Fail. Mostly driver error. I think I needed to accelerate through that. Keep allow it to keep its composure again, accelerate again, and it does fine. I'm gonna try a little steeper climb this time. It's got a chance. But that rock hinders the rear tires. Try a few make a few attempts but it doesn't it's not going. And here's a tough little descent. Check this out. Yeah, it just sits. Reposition itself and it's fine. Not bad, huh? Tough little climb here. As long as there's grip, this Jeep does that. It's super cool. Right here, trying to get a an angle to get through that notch. Had my doubts, but it did fine. Why not? Super cool, love it. Who thought 112 scale vehicle could do this, could be this fun? Here is a steep one. Even the big vehicles can't do this because of that hole on the right side. But this vehicle looks like it can go on the left and snake its way through. High speed, almost. Maybe on a, on a different day. This is how we try in our series view try the limits okay didn't work let's keep going right here it's up in the air the, the wheels left front wheels up in the air and it's kind of the the climbing style of this vehicle it just settles in the fact too that it has stiff leaf springs on the rear means it, it doesn't dip down and flip the car over which is kind of cool Right here, first gear, tight steering radius, not tight, but kind of big steering radius. Playing with the lights here, lights on, lantern on. Do a little bit of rallying, why not? And it's really cool when you put it on second gear. You know, the difference between first and second is quite dramatic. Gives this vehicle a bigger sweet spot of trailing and crawling. Little eight kilometers an hour right here, little rally. Momentum, slow momentum. Not bad. Right there, climbing hills in a rather fast fashion. Kind of fun. Why not? Okay, we're gonna get in some technical terrain here. Pretty narrow, steep, loose, and a lot of holes. And here's something funny. We've never seen this line. The 10 scale vehicles simply don't fit and it's not fun. But with a smaller vehicle, it opens up new lines on the same old course. Pretty cool, huh? So a little descent action here. It's quite controlled. The weight of the rear 
settles this vehicle. I'm pretty stoked with it. Look how steep that is. Would you take a real Jeep down that? Oh wait, it gets steeper. Three wheel. Oh, I skipped the steep part. We're gonna try to climb the steep part. Not really gonna happen. So this is where we're starting to get impressed with the vehicle. Pretty steep, pretty narrow, and a whole lot of fun. Three wheel in it. And makes it to the top and now we'll do a little, little dirt gully trail. An abandoned creek bed. Little pint sized fun, why not? So, pretty settled, somewhat capable, but kind of fun, it's crazy. You wouldn't expect a tiny little vehicle to develop to deliver this much realism finally we'll close out by climbing this steep little section here very typical of what the wheelies can do lift the front wheels and climb up left rear gets over the rock and you're home free Hope you enjoy that and uh, hang on and we'll tell you all about this vehicle. Okay, here it is in living color. We'll call it the Rock Hobby 1941 Willys Jeep in 1 scale. Uh-huh. And so it's the little brother of the one sixth. And even though it's one twelfth, it's really like, you know, about one sixteenth because the Jeep in real life is a, is, a, is a very small vehicle. So here it is, but super cool. You know, it has all the details of the bigger brother about double its size. And it's got a few more tricks up its sleeve. All right, so I'm gonna tell you how they're the same and how they're different. So. How are they the same? They both, by the way, the, the video on the, the one six scaler is, is over here. Click on it if you wanna learn more about it. So how they're the same is they're both hard bodies. Willys Jeep. Yeah. How they're different is this one is licensed. It's a Willys Jeep. The other one is called an MB scaler. So you don't have any, any, any kind of identification that it's a Jeep. Well, we all know it's a Jeep, right? <laughs> okay. Again, now how they're the same. This folds down with a convenient little tab, mirror, very clear window, and then they both have a opening hood. But how they're different is the other one had a full engine. This one has the battery receiver and power switch. Okay, and the battery is here. It comes with a battery. 7.4 little lipo it's not secured but when you close it keeps it in place they both have this roof you can buy a, an awning for it not an awning a canvas top for it a fifth spare tire that's usable jerry can axe and sh and shovel very scale canvas with foam on the seats super cool oh i heard you could uh, oh yeah you could you have these little covers for your little cubby holes. Uh, I don't think it, the other one had that. So a little scale detail 
right there. I don't know if I'm going to remember how to place that. Okay. A lot of shift knobs, one, two, three. Okay. And how they're the same again is they have another servo just to turn the steering wheel. How cool is that? You just never see that anywhere. So there's a servo in there turning the steering wheel. And what's cool is if you have a driver figure, which you should have, by the way, when you have a open cabin like this, uh, as you rest the arm of the driver on the steering wheel, it goes like this as she's driving. So super cool, okay? So I think this one does the other one better by having switchable lights. So it's another channel for the lights. So right here. So lights are off, on, low beam, high beam, and lantern, okay? And then the other one is, where is that button? Uh, tail lights. So these are the hazard lights. And then over here is off. Same thing, same thing with the brake lights. Brake lights on. And also this one, as you turn the wheel, it becomes like a signal light. So it's kind of a, a, a nice little effect, but it is kind of annoying because it's not realistic. Any, any kind of little angle on the steering wheel will turn on your signal lights, okay? Is this one has a two-speed transmission. Two-speed transmission. I've never seen that in a little car. Okay, and the button is convenient, is right here. So right here, uh, this is a uh, second gear. So right here is first gear. First gear is a super cool climbing gear because it's not only easier to modulate, it also has more torque. So as you see, it's going over that bump, not a problem, okay? So I'm gonna just gun it full speed. So you can see it's a four kilometer an hour. Mm-hmm, not gonna outrun you. And then two speed, so I, I, I click this button. Actuates a servo, shifts it mechanically, and then, oh dang, oh, you can do some jumps with that. Okay, so again, this one ups it. Okay, and here is another kicker where I would say this one is better. This one has leaf springs, leaf springs. Holy moly, am I crazy? Why is that better? Because it's more scale. You know, a Jeep uh, has leaf springs. So I'll show you. So what was, was what, what I hope you noticed on the video, there's a lot of three wheeling uh, because you don't have as much, what do you call that? Articulation or flex. So it's three wheeling, but it's not tipping over. Super cool. You know why? Because the Jeep body is so low and heavy. But here is the power of the, of the, uh, oh, and then the, the rear wheel lifts and it, but it doesn't tip over because it's, it's got a pretty decent center of gravity because this, this body is heavy, but it's low. And why is this good? Because it's more realistic. This is what you actually see Jeeps do. You know, there's three wheeling through the, the mud and what, and what not. By the way, here's a comparison between a, another mini crawler I hope you know about. It's the actual SCX24, 24 scale. This is about the size of like a 16 scale because the Jeep is so small in real life. So 120. So here's the kicker for this vehicle. And if, if there is a weakness, it's expensive. It's 265 complete with a, a pretty good size LiPo uh, and, and charger and, and this remote. So 265 is quite a bit. 180 for the Land Cruiser LC80, which is also a hard body. Uh, and bottom line is it's a cool scalar vehicle. If there's another weakness aside from price, it's the steering radius. So you'll see me do a lot of three-point turns. This is it. You know, the tires just start hitting the, the leaf springs. Um, and so there's no way to increase it. So, but what do you guys think? I'm so just, you know, seeing kind of a new effort like this. And there's a lot of exciting stuff coming from this company, Rock Hobby. Uh, man, it's got some good weight to it. And so if you want to purchase this, click on our links. It uh, helps our channel out. And make sure you subscribe, 
comment, share, interact with the video, make sure YouTube recommends it. And we'll do, hopefully do a lot more content on this, you know? And may, hopefully I'll have a driver figure. <laughs> it's gotta be World War II. Uh, about four and a half inches is the ideal, one twelfth, one twelfth scale, but I just don't have one in the, uh, in the arsenal right now. So, thanks a ton.